In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome bouncing text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. So once you've got Premiere Pro open, we're ready to begin. And in order to begin, we first need to start by creating some text. So we'll go up to File, New, Legacy Title, press OK on this, and we'll type out our first word. And mine is going to be, let's say, awesome. And we're going to change the font. We're going to change the weight of this. We'll increase the size, center this up. We'll increase that a little bit more, center that up, and then we'll change the color to perfect white. And then we're going to copy this text. Now we'll exit the legacy title window, drag that title onto video layer one, and we'll just cut the end of that title by pressing C on the keyboard to load up the slice tool, and then delete the second half. Now we'll go ahead and create a brand new text there. So we'll go file, new, legacy title again. And now we're going to hold command V to paste the old text in and we're going to change this. So this is going to be text. Drag text next to the first title. Again, cut the end of that by pressing C and deleting. We'll get into legacy title again. We're going to paste that in and we're going to make this effect. So we've got awesome text and effect. We'll drag that next to text, cut the end again. We'll create a brand new title and you get the point. Just keep doing this process over and over again until you've completed your sentence. Now, once you've generated all of your words in a separate title window, you want to stack them on top of each other and make sure the duration of all of these text layers is the exact same. So as you can see, I'm just extending this to make sure they all match. And the second that I've done that, I'm just going to drag them over and make sure that the start of each one matches the end of the previous one. So as you can see, when we play this back, each word is on screen for the exact same time. Now select the first title layer that we created. So that is the word awesome. We'll scroll the cursor back to the very beginning and we'll create a brand new keyframe on scale. Now we'll go four keyframes forward. We'll create a brand new keyframe and then we'll go three keyframes forward and create a brand new keyframe. Now we'll go back to that middle keyframe and we'll change the scale to around 94%. Then we'll go to the first keyframe and we'll increase this all the way up to around 1,800. And we've got this really cool bounce effect. So from here, I'm just going to select the motion and I'm just going to hold Command C on the keyboard to copy that. We'll select Title 11. Make sure the cursor head is at the very beginning of that title layer and press Command V to paste that. And then, of course, we'll do the exact same thing for the next three titles. So all of them should have this text effect applied but it's a little bit too harsh. So we want to make sure that these are overlapping. So go to the very end of the first title, pull the cursor head back three keyframes and pull the second title over to the playhead. And you want to keep doing this process over and over again. So all titles should be overlapping each other. Make sure the distance is always three keyframes. Make sure it's always consistent. And that looks a lot better. But we're going to take this to the next level by adding some blur. So we'll go into the effects window, search for blur. And then we're going to drag directional blur on top of title 10. So that's our first title. And we're going to increase the duration and the blur length to around, let's say 12%. We'll create a brand new keyframe at the very beginning. We'll scroll four keyframes over to the right and pull this down to zero. And we've got this really cool blur effect happening. So this is giving our text a motion blur effect. And like we did with the scale, we want to copy this motion blur and paste it onto all of our other title layers. So select the direction of blur, hold command C on the keyboard, and then just paste that on the very beginning of all of those title layers. And when we play this back, we've got this really awesome blurry scale zoom effect happening on all of the text layers. Now that looks really awesome, but there is one more thing that we need to fix, and that is the animating out of the text. So at the moment, it just cuts away and it looks a little bit too harsh. So three keyframes before the end of the first title, we're going to create a brand new keyframe on scale. We'll scroll towards the end and then we'll create a brand new keyframe and pull this down to zero. And by doing this, it basically means that our first title layer will animate out as our second title animates in. So like we did before, just copy the motion of the first title layer and we're going to paste this to all of the other titles. And the second that you've done this, you've now completed the effect and you have a really awesome 
bouncing text effect completed right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.